Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? It's Tim again with Southern Exposure. I'd like to welcome you to another episode. Hope your day is going well. And uh, what we're planning on doing today is we're going to end up building an outfeed roller bed for the sawmill. The outfeed roller bed is going to serve a dual purpose. Um, this way I can take and put the flitches on that roller bed uh, to run through the edger. And my nephew or my daughter, one of my daughters can take and uh, run them through the edger. Or uh, it'll s serve as a area where if they get behind on the stacking, I can just take and put the flitches until they're ready. Also, we'll end up taking and I'll put an electric uh, chainsaw at the end of it. So that way the slabs can go on there. And they can take and cut them up into uh, 16 inch sections. So, with that said, uh, do us both a favor grab yourself a glass of sweet tea, kick back, relax, and take in a little bit of southern exposure. Okay, where I'm planning on putting this roller bed is going to be right here in this section right here, uh, just past the hydraulics. And on the left side of the tongue. So this bracket right here, I'm going to use, have to cut it down and I'm going to use it to assist in holding up one corner of the, uh, the roller bed. And then uh, we'll have a leg over here on this side and two legs on that end with wheels on them. I need this to be able to take and stow away. So whenever I need to close these doors, uh, on the end of the mill house, I can take and uh, uh, stand this up so I can close those doors. So we're going to have to do some, a little bit of calculation on this, not much. Um, I think I pretty well got it figured out. So let's go on and move on to the next piece, the actual roller bed itself. Okay, the roller bed I'm gonna use is this one right here. It's roughly around 20 inches across, so each one of the rollers. And this bed itself is about nine foot long. Um, if I wanted to, I could take the rollers off and space them out a little bit more. There's no need in them being, being that close. We're not gonna have that much weight on here at one time. Um, so we're going to have to take and figure that out as well. I don't have any real long uh, channel like this. So we might end up just making do with what we have. And then later on, take and change it up a little bit. I would like for this bed to at least be 16 foot though. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this thing, mock it up, and then we'll move from there. Okay, so we got this mocked up now, uh, this roller bed. I think this is gonna work out pretty good. It's at a slight angle down. That'll assist with taking the slabs off. Let's go ahead and gather up the materials and everything that we're gonna end up using to put, on, put the legs on this thing. And uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that we ended up taking, we got that all set up and everything, I got the the pipe we're going to end up using. We're going to use some uh, galvanized inch and a quarter schedule 10 pipe. Um, stuff's very thin. However, it, all it's doing is holding up a roller bed and maybe a couple of boards on that roller bed. This will be more than enough to uh, do what we need. Um, so I've already got it marked out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, cut these down to length for the legs on this end. My plan is, is to get the uh, saw side of the roller bed, get those legs cut, mocked up, and welded first before I do those on the outfeed end of the roller bed. All right, now that I got my two pieces of pipe, I've already got them cut down the length. Put these in place and we're gonna tack them up. I Okay guys, at this point of the build, I ended up taking the roller bed and I turned it up 
uh, bottom up so that way I could finish tacking and welding what little there was for the two legs okay as soon as I ended up getting done tacking and welding these two legs up I ended up putting a cross member in this area right here so anytime you end up intersecting two pieces of pipe you get a large gap there so what I did to take and compensate for that is I just take and smash both ends of the inch and a quarter pipe to make it to where it's a flat spot so I can weld it. Okay what I'm doing here is I'm taking and welding in those two flat spots I just smashed out on that cross member. Once I'm done with that then I'll weld in two 45 degree angles in this location here. Once again those pieces of pipe that's going to be those 45 degree angles there's nothing special about them. It's just two more pieces of pipe with uh, smashed ends on it cut at a 45 degree angle. And this is what that 45 degree angle is going to look like. Alright, now that we ended up getting this end welded up and it's completely rigid ready to go uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you guys with me we're going to go over here and take these wheels off this old air compressor now that we got those other legs measured off and cut what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to go over here and we're going to fire up the the generator and get the welder fired up. We're going to go ahead and weld them other legs on. Okay, now with all the welding finally done, now the only thing left we have to do is drill the holes out for the wheels. Once we end up drilling those holes out, then we're going to use half inch bolts to take and hold the wheels to the legs. Flip it over and then we're going to give this thing an op test. Okay, as you can see we've gotten the wheels on here on both sides. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to end up flipping this thing over, pull these blocks out of the way and let it stand on its own. And then we're going to roll a log up here and test it out to make sure this thing is going to work alright. Let's take a better look at it. So as you can see the roller bed comes right up against the uh, hydraulics for the sawmill. It comes right up against it which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Anyway, alright so that's that. The rest of it looks pretty good. Those wheels right there work excellent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that log right there put up here on the mill we're gonna cut that thing up real quick let's see how this thing works Alright, so we finally got it done, we tested it out, and honestly I think it's going to work out pretty well. Uh, we can take the slag, slabs off the top of the cant now, put them on the roller bed, use the uh, small electric chainsaw, chop them up into chunks to either go on the burn pile or bundle up. Uh, so, with that said, let me go ahead and show you some of the wood we ended up cutting. That stuff looks really, really good. 
some decent grain in it it's got a few knots in it but nothing too spectacular a little bit of denim staining Uh, not too shabby all right so honestly speaking I really don't think it was too bad I don't think it's a bad day at all we actually accomplished something we built now feed roller bed <laughs> um, and once again no termites were harmed in any making of this video uh, we just took a home from them that's it anyway so with that said do me a favor hope this video has been educational you've enjoyed it and uh, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, share with a friend. That said, I appreciate you. God bless.